It was birthed out of a collaboration between Drake and Jordan Brand. I'm not too fond of him, but you know what I'm saying? Like, he got his own followers, so it's all good. But that's not the point. The point is, um, before you buy those online, on eBay or any website, make sure you know that they're authentic, all right? So I went ahead and found a, a couple of pictures of fake ones and real pic uh, and real shoes, and I wanted to show you real quick what they are before you, you go ahead and pull that trigger, okay? Now, there's like two types of fakes. There's the real bad fakes, and there's the good fakes, all right? So on my left here, we got your authentic, and on, on my, my right, you got your bad fake. And, and I want to show you real quick, if you look at a yellow arrow pointing down here, see the incline on the back, how pronounced it is on the authentic, on the fake one, you don't really see it here, it's not that, the, the, the angle is not that, like the grade of the angle is, is a lot less than this one here. And if you look at the mod guard on the side, where my the little circle is, it's a lot more darker on the bad fakes and the authentic, it's a lot lighter, all right? And one thing I want to point out too is that usually when you look at this and uh, the fake shoes, the tumble leather tends to be more pronounced. You see the wrinkles a little more, and you can see the shapes a little more. On the on the authentic, is it's more subtle. Let's jump on to the next one. Now the texture of the bumps on the mod guard. This is the top one. Is the authentic? It's 3D. You can see that there's actual bumps here. They're like 3D. And the fake one, it almost looks like. They're not 3D, and it's, it's, it's a lot more bumps on it. There's more bumps, they're not 3D, and they are darker. You see that? This is lighter, this is a lot darker here. Now, if you look at the next set of picture, pictures, what you see is that they've tried to fix it. They went ahead and fixed it. They're still trying to make it look lighter. You see how close these two are here? This is the authentic, and this is the fake one. Now, if you look at the toe box, the cut here is a lot longer. Then here, I don't think it has anything to do with the size. Because if you look at the gap between the top and the midsole, the gap is a lot smaller on the authentic, and the fake one is, is a lot bigger. Some people might say, Taib, come on, you're looking too much into it. But it's something that I noticed. I got to talk about it, all right? Now, if you look at the, the gold tab on the mod guard here, you see where it ends? See where my black arrow is here? It's lined up properly with a, with a midsole. On, on the fake one, it tends to be a little more... It comes out a little further. It doesn't. It doesn't line up properly. Those are little things that you need, you need to look at. All right. Not that I care. I'm just showing you, so you don't waste your money. Okay. Now, if you look at the, the outsole, the threads and the tracks, you see how like subtle they are on the authentic, on the fake one. You can see. You can clear, clearly see that they are apparent. You can kind of see how deep they are here. All right. You see this? This is really close. And even the mod guard. Now, it's funny because it tends to be a little more darker on the authentic and the fake one is, is a lot lighter. This is really hard to tell, man. Maybe uh, the shape here as well. You see, this is the gap here is a little bit smaller. Now, I just saw that. Doesn't mean um, it might be something. Again, the tumble leather on the, on the, on the authentic is, is more subtle. If you see on the fake one, you, you can see it's more apparent. All right, and again, I show you where the, the I put a line here to show you where the, the, the back tab, the, the gold tab, and the mud guy. See how it lines up? How it lines up with a with a midsole. Now here it comes out a little bit further. You can see the ending here. So little things that you, you can kind of notice. All right, the next set of picture. Now this is the the outsole. If you see the carbon fiber here on the authentic, it's gray and black, and here is gray and it's black and yellow. Now that is just a bad fake. You can tell right off the bat it's a bad fake. And you look at the, uh, the outsole here. You see how you, you can see how gold it is. It's a it's a it's a lot darker. It's a lighter here. Everything is just different. And sometimes you may also pay attention to the eyelets. You see they're, they're not like gold. They're more like yellowy kind of. All right. Now let's look at the next set of picture. Now this is the authentic on the top, fake on the bottom. Look at the carbon fiber. There's no distinction really between the, the gray and the black here. It's kind of, it blends in. And here, it's really, up, you can see the, the shapes of the, the zigzag here. You can see the shapes. Here, it's, it's kind of like it just blends in, it's a little blurry. That's the fake one. And again, the, the, the oval branding on the authentic, you see here, it's a lot darker on the on the authentic. On the fake one, it's, it's, it kind of is pale, light, and it kind of is almost disappearing. So... What I went ahead and did was I went ahead and found some pictures of the fake one. This is here. This is the 
let me show you for the, uh, the bad fake. This is the bad fake here. Let's look at it. All right. Pay good attention. Uh, this is it here. Bad fake. You see the incline on the back that I was talking about? And you see how the tumble leather is really apparent? And then on the top here, you can see the lining is kind of messed up a little bit. Okay. And you see the bumps here. You don't really see the bumps. There's a lot more bumps. And they don't, they don't look 3D to me. And you see the gold top, how uh, it comes out. It's not lined up properly with the midsole. Okay, this is the bad fake here. You see the carbon fiber, yellow and black. This is the bad fake. So we're not gonna waste too much time on it. You already know if you see anybody selling them with a black, black and gold, black and yellow carbon fiber, don't waste your time. Just tell them I don't want it. See here the uh, the lining on the tongue, how it is here. Okay, now we're not gonna waste too much time on that. Let's go on the good fake here. This is the good fake. Okay, good fake. You see the carbon fiber. You see how it's, you don't really see the difference between the, it's not distinct. All right, and again, the oval branding is a lot lighter here. See the the bumps? You don't really see the bumps in here. You, the bumps are actually not even existent that much, and it's too light. Okay, and the tumble leather is more, it's, it's more apparent. All right, and see again, this, this tab here doesn't line up properly. Those are little things that you need to look at. I'm not saying, see, I'm not trying to. Play. What is going on? We are back with a heat pickup first look. Let's get straight into it. Playing no games. The leather is plush. Nice and soft. Just like the French blues. Maybe even softer. That back tab is all white. That's strange. They made it all white like that. You already know. They are not authentic. Hey, I took a risk. Doesn't matter. Okay. Get my money back. So, you don't got to feel sorry for me. You feel me? But, uh, they try to get one past you. Show everybody that what you wanted to look for so you don't get got. Alright? Let's get into it. Uh, run through how I went about, um, expecting inspecting these shoes when I first got them first got them felt them the box felt okay I said okay started feeling good box looks cool first thing I wanted to look for if it had the suggested retail uh, tag on it which it didn't and I was like damn uh, I looked at this tag and it just it looked a little shaky uh, when I say shaky like the label I don't know how to explain it but I just got a good eye for it the print on the label, the font, it looked a little light and looked a little um, round around the edges. I know a lot of you guys are not going to understand what I'm saying, but I'm going to try to explain it. The font looked a little round around the edges, so it gave it like a softer look to the font. And I was just like, man, that looks, that looks wrong. No, it didn't have that sharp font look to it. It was missing a suggested retail price. Looked at it closer, was like, okay, maybe they ripped it off. But then I'm like, nah, you don't even see, like, the perfor perforated lines. I'm like, it doesn't look like it was even on there. I'm like, oh, man. I hope these not. I hope they not. <laughs> so I opened them up. Boom. Looked at the paper. I said, oh, man. Just the feel. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but the feel of the paper. I was just like, nah, this don't feel right. Okay, let me just get look at the shoes now. Boom. I said, damn. I touched the leather. I was like, damn. I said, let me feel the tongue. Bruh. Bruh, look at the tongue. I was like, damn, this thing is soft and plush as ever. I was like, damn, okay, maybe I was wrong. Started looking at it closely. Um, first thing that popped out, bam, the stitching along here. It looks sloppy. That's one thing you want to look for on the fakes. I don't care how close they look. Usually the stitching is all the way sloppy. It doesn't stay parallel, and it just it just doesn't look sharp at all. Like it gets a little funky right around this area. Look at it. 
Look at the holes. They're not. They're not in like like they're not in sequence together. And uh, this looks a little rough around here. I'm like, oh man. I'm like, damn, that leather though. That leather though is fire. I'm like, hold on, man. Let me look at these joints. I'm looking them all over. Looking them all over. I'm just like, looked at the bottoms. I was like, wow, man. Just the softness of the leather is what's trying to like reel me back in. Say, hey. <laughs> But I'm uh, looking at all the things; they just didn't add up. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. It's not adding up. I'm leaning. I'm leaning definitely towards fake. And the final confirmation. I looked at the insole. Bam. A lot of you guys might say, "Oh, what? What's wrong with the insole?" Let me take it out real quick. One thing I know, it's a long time ago when the OVO 10s came out. The fake ones never had the owl right. And I always have that picture in my head <laughs> of how the owl looked and how it should have looked. So, I looked at the insole. I said, ah! try again. The owl is not right. <laughs> his face, his head is too fat. I mean, I've been seeing this OVO Al. Who hasn't? We've been seeing this Al all our lives. Come on, if you Drake fans. Like, come on. You damn near know the Al. So it's like, nah, something about the Al is just off. It's off. I said, the face is too fat. I was like, yep, that's the fake ones. Because the, fake, the fakes, when they had, I remember I seen the picture online. had the real and the fake next to each other on the insoles of OVO 10. And the face was fatter and the Al just wasn't on point. So I go get my uh, OVO 10s out. Pull out the insole. Bam! I said, oh, hell nah. This joint not even close. <laughs> I already knew it was off, but then when you put them side by side, this is the OVO 10 insole, and this is the OVO 12 that just came in. I said, look. Now, the eye was way off, bro. As I was saying, look at the face. It's fatter over here. It's wider. So that was final confirmation for me. Like, nope. I'm sorry, brother. I will be uh, kicking these back. And I the bottom is the authentic from the OVO 10. This is the OVO 12. As you see, the owl is much is thinner. You know, this is more bold and thicker lines. That's thin. Looks like they did get the shape of the head, though, right? So they got this owl right as far as the dimensions of the owl and everything. But the one on the insole is just totally off. But yeah, man, stay woke. Because, um... <clears throat> oh yeah, here's my OVO 10 paper. Let me see if you can hear a difference. This is the OVO 10 authentic. Now here's their paper. It's, 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 it's thinner for sure. You can You can see through it. This paper a little hard to see through. See how thin it is? It's like a different feel. This almost feels like money. You know how money feels? The paper on money that's printed on? That's what this feels like almost. You know, this is the paper. So, stay woke, guys. Um, just watch out, man. Watch out, okay? Here. This is the, uh, the fake one. Watch this. See if I can get it in focus. Okay. Got my nail here. I'm just going to scrape it. I don't know if it's... I need the camera to catch it. Watch this. Can you see that? It's actually scraping off. See if the camera can get it. You know, spots. This stuff is actually scraping off. All right, now you. Should. All right. Now here I have an authentic OVO. Look at this. Scratch this thing hard as possible. Nothing. 
the material doesn't scrape off. You don't get any little. Look at that. Nothing. I try hard to scrape it. And it just, it look flawless. But when you look over here, look where I scraped it at. You can still see it. Look. Watch. See that? Little stuff is coming up when you scrape it. <laughs> Look at that. It's coming off, bro. So, uh, just give it the scratch test. <laughs> That's how you know right there.